Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm here with Alex. Yeah! So you almost created a sound that, like, transcended reality just then. I'm an alien. You really are. You know how to act like aliens? The people in this show don't tell the bride. Women. Women. <laughs> tell me they don't. A lot of the people watching this video will be women, and tell me you're not a f***ing weirdo. Yeah, but so are we. True. <laughs> anyway, let's watch. Are you joking me? My bedroom has been in a state like this before. Maybe not the crumbs all over the sofa, but that's because I don't have a sofa in my bedroom. This is quite similar to my bedroom right now. There is literally a pair of boxes just like right there. No, I, I can join you in that. My bed has a random pair of boxes just Don't join me right in my now. bedroom, please. Thank you. You're not invited. It's not what you said last night. You literally went home. <laughs> I did. Wasn't like, well, that wasn't last night. That was the day before. Fully, I've got no time, time is slipping away. <laughs> ah! Every time you scream, it like distorts it so much on my end. Whenever your volume reaches a certain level, it's like your SM7B turns into a wet. Webcam, like, it's so funny. What are you thinking? I'm gonna f kill him. Sorry, but I'm gonna f kill him. Is this on their wedding day? Is this why this is such a big deal? I mean, it is a shithole, don't get me wrong, but like... What are they not telling the bride? Husband's been on a weekend long bender by yeah, the looks clearly. of Look at the Budweiser's. <laughs> My wedding morning, and I walk into this. It is literally her wedding morning. She's got to clear up this shit before she goes and gets married. That's not good. This is the universe trying to intervene right now. Yeah, they're trying to tell you something, man. Oh, babe. Oh, I thought she'd been mad. Not that bad. <laughs> Maybe it's your wedding day. Like, who gives a She's literally scrubbing the floor on her hands and knees on her fucking wedding I thought day. she'd be mad, but not quite that mad. What are you on about? What, what is wrong with you, man? Well, there's a lot wrong with men. Well, he's clearly got himself a good wifey, because even on her wedding day, she's still cleaning up for him. This is what women do, mate! She scrub up after me, she cook breakfast, and she give me beer. You want her to drive you to school as well, mate? She's driving him to school? He's, he's not 12, Because his he? wife is like his mum. Oh. And he's a <laughs> And he's We've watched 30 seconds of this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try and get through more of it. You want five minutes? Let me do this. That's the baby prank. She reacted 10 out of 10 to that. The baby prank? They show a picture of a van. What the f*** is the baby prank? What are they planning? Imagine what she's going to be like when the dress gets ruined and she turns up at the wrong venue. Wait, oh, what? they're pranking wait, wait, are they... her. So they're doing this on purpose? Who does this? So they're purposefully going to ruin her dress? When you accidentally marry Barney and the ninjas. <laughs> no, it's like the wedding limousine is supposed to turn up and the prank patrol van pulls up and all the ninjas hop out It's the it. purple prank patrol van. <laughs> they start just doing like flips and shit. No, all the ninjas just get out of the van and just start beating the shit out of the two of them. It's the prank. I'm sorry. It's just literally lost power. To be fair, I wouldn't want to drive to a wedding in a car like that. That is, If your car is that old, it is going to break down at the worst time. I'm going to my wedding in a tank. I don't think I'm ever going to get married. That's... What the hell? Can you get out? Can you get out? Just be on the safe side. Can you get, can you get out? I assume he's put like a smoke grenade in the... I don't even know what this show is, man. It's a prank, so they prank them and they don't tell the bride that it's a prank. They try and make them think they're going to have the worst wedding day ever. I and mean, I think the twist is that they throw them an actually really sick wedding paid for by the show. Yeah, I'm assuming so. I thought this was in the same vein of where they, like, the husband plans the wedding. The show pays for the wedding and then they, they pay for the pranks. do this for the TV show. Yeah. He forked out the money for the Pizza Hut boxes and a smoke grenade that he chucked into his engine. Run! What the? It works my, on my insurance. Do you realise this is my wedding day? I know. If you get off the road, they, they the can road take you. The if you can just go, if you can just go, on to, just go just for safety. Otherwise... Also, surely the cameras give it away. Like, you can't be that stupid. You must know something's up. It's like prank patrol, isn't it? It's like, it's like how is this working? How do you not know? No, it's like all those Facebook videos where, like, it's like secret prank. They don't know I'm here. And there's, like, a person with, a, like, an actual handheld camera following them around the house. And it's like... Secret prank, guys. They have no idea that I'm here. <laughs> Easy, mate. What are, you, what are you doing? What, what are you doing here? John! John! I didn't even know it! Oh, that's awful. Surely this is a perfectly good dress. Wedding dresses are fucking expensive. No, it's paid for by whoever made this TV show. Well, I, I guess, but even still. It's everywhere. It's even on my shoes! Oh, my Dude! <laughs> Mate, I know I shouldn't be laughing, I'm sorry, but shrug it off. Shrug it off? Well, on his wedding day, he calls his wife mate. <laughs> Come on, mate. Shrug it off, lad. She is holding it together surprisingly well. She must be used to a lot of bullshit. Because, like, this is absurd. I'd, I'd be livid already. John, who are these people? Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. What is happening? 
Yeah. Sorry, who are you? We've been stitched up, man. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine? This is awful. What did she do to deserve this? Did she like cheat on him or something? No, I think it's just a bit of bants with the lads, isn't it, guys? Just a bit of banter. It's a bit, just a cheeky bit of banter. She's a million percent aware that this is not real. Yeah, but you know, you got to take it at face value. You just got to be like the audience and just be stupid. Yeah. Be like the British public, everyone. Let's all laugh at the British public, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what's happened to the country. I'm so sorry. Why are you here? I'm so guys, sorry. guys, I'm so, I, I, I've, I've got the wrong email. This is for next week. Are you kidding? Next week You've show. got the wrong place. Are you for real? Steve, don't worry about it, mate. We'll sort this out. It's all right. Well, I've seen you now. I can't believe this is what they're, they're in the stairs. You look beautiful. Do you think this is a real wedding that they've no, just crashed no for the sake of the show? They're no, all... it has to be. No. It has to be. Do you think they would just stage a fake wedding just to prank the white? No. They got a real couple. They ruined another couple's day. Well, to be fair, they got a real couple to sign off on this. So, uh, you know. Yeah, actually, who knows where they drew the line? <laughs> That cut, though, just cuts instantly to her, like, pulling off the vicar's nose. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, and it's her dad, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's just, Amazing. A, it's just a bloke who works at Tesco. Yeah, you're the one who sells me those scratch cards. Yeah. Oh, sweet. great prank for ruining my day. It's going to be a joke. This is what it is, so... I just want to get it done over with. Okay, she seems like she's going to get pissed off a lot quicker than the last one did. I'm already more excited for this one. Right, come down with face like funny. Please don't say he's the groom. He's one of the biggie blinders. If you have a wedding dressed like that, are you marrying a pig or a cow? That's a horrible thing to describe women. You can't describe women as animals anymore. That stopped being a thing that you were allowed to do about a year and a half ago. Come down with face like funny, bro. So hey, put you down. Man, I'm after the so. You got a ladder behind him or something, and he's gonna climb up to the heavens. That's what one is... of those like things. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna climb it up and end up. He's yeah, end up going it. back around again. <laughs> what stupid idiot! I know you like pigs between you, but this. is Oh, I don't even like them, do just... This is grim. Who gets married off farm? This is awful. She's gonna get a wedding dress so fucking muddy. Take me down there, do it, and go. I think I've put up with quite an off. There's the groom. <laughs> That's the first one of the bridesmaids. I'd still do it. Why are they wearing onesies? Why are the bridesmaids wearing onesies? I mean, hey, it's your wedding. They just want to cause absolute chaos in this show. I would absolutely flip my shit. They're all pink onesies as well. Are they trying to dress up like pigs? Yeah, what is going on here? I'm not calling women animals. I'm just, it's, it's the clothing alone. Don't worry. I am. And they didn't choose it because they're bridesmaids and bridesmaids don't choose their own clothes. I'm pretty sure on most weddings. Anyway, I don't know. I've never, I've only been to one wedding and I was like... I can't even look at you. Why? Pans out wide. Pans to the wide shot. Wide shot to the pig just like slopping around in all the mud next to them. Lovely. And on this very important day... A little bomb shelter behind them just in case the worst kicks off. Lives, Billy and Stephanie are going to light three candles mm. in memory of those who they wish could be here. I'm sorry, but like, I'm not getting married to you if this is happening. Like, we're rearranging the fucking wedding. At their prank wedding, they're still lighting candles for the three people who passed away who couldn't make it there. So, like, they're going, oh, we're gonna honour your dead family members. Uh, well, uh, honour your dead family members with our fake shitty wedding and this funny TV show. Oh my god, that's fucking awful. Can't believe that we're here. Just in shock, really. Oh, she's so happy. Yeah, she can't believe that it's finally her wedding day. Bless her. You love pigs, though. Not this much. This is awkward. Did the pig say that or something? This is awkward. <gasps> is it awkward? Oh. Are you joking? <laughs> what is in there? I don't even want to look. It's like no, sarongs and sandals. No, it's not. No, it's not. Not even my nan would wear something like that. It's like something you get longly. No, that's what the cavemen dressed up in. You know, when they had those like leopard print. I like that I'm saying like a cartoon caveman. No, that's how they. That's the fit they used to wear. Man. <laughs> Sunny, this is a joke. This seemed like a good idea before. <laughs> it, it, this seemed like no, a good idea. No, come on, go and get the real stuff. No, honestly. I'm really disappointed. This show is just evil. Because you got to imagine as well, you're in a relationship for however long these people have been together. You talk about marriage and oh, what would our wedding be like? Well, surely the proposal's real. And the proposal must be real, yeah. You get to propose, oh my God, I've been proposed we're going to get married. And then your fucking wedding is just awful. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if most of these people got divorced. Imagine if afterwards they go, hang on, uh, I'm so glad this isn't the real wedding day. And then he goes, oh yeah, well, the proposal, I, I, I want to go all the way back to pre-proposal actually. Oh, can you imagine? You're not actually even my wife. You're not even my fiance. Say. I just want to go all the way back, please. Thank you. And I hope you're not standing there expecting us to try them on because we're not going to do it in front of you. Bro's trying not to laugh. He's like trying to hold it in. I just know how Jazz is going to feel when she sees that tackiness. 
on her wedding day. It's just wrong. Sorry. I'm growing. But look at his fucking hat. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, the man's not exactly a style icon. It looks like when people wear a beanie, like, on the tops of their ears. It's hardly, like, part of the prank. Bro, he's got his Lego hat on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. But will Leanne want to do it? What the fuck is this? I've been what? on one of these. I've seen these in London. I've been on one of these. They're scary. The DX races in the sky. It's so I actually, Yeah, I get a bit and then I just, you know, I just start going, I can't, I want to do a bit where I lift my chair up with me, but it's so heavy. I can't do that. <laughs> you just float out of frame. When she sees the harness she has to wear for Jai's plan to work. What is this? Oh yeah, and there's a few. I have I'm no not bungee jumping, am I? I have no idea. You know more than me, I think. Is she like scared of heights? What have you pissed? yourself on your wedding day what are you supposed to do then especially if it just trickles down on the people below or what if they attach it not to a crane but to a hot air balloon and they just go somewhere <laughs> and they land when they and do they, but the prank is they just never ever like if she just goes in there herself and they set it off <laughs> yeah yeah they strap her in first and then they just send her off like her goodbye <laughs> that's that's how he's like actually i don't want to be with you anymore and he just sends her off <laughs> over the horizon correct it's like it's kind of what manslaughter maybe i mean it depends if she survives the descent <laughs> yeah i guess so i was gonna say let's find out like that's actually what he's going to do. I've got no underwear on, so there's no chance. Don't cry because your makeup. I don't even know what to say. She's got such a nice wedding dress and then she's got to put this fucking horrible harness over She it. looks great. I know. She looks great. The harness is ruining it. It's not a leg bit, is it? I can't fit my legs in That's there. It's not a leg bit, is it? They're meant it's to be leg bit bit bit. Well, yeah, you can't. You're supposed to put them like between your legs, but she's got a fucking dress on, so you're not going to be able to do that. She's going to have a full fucking... <laughs> out. That's not gonna happen. No, no you're not She's gonna not gonna get no leg in there. No, you, you yeah. can't do that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I can't take this dress off. It's gonna have to go over then. I didn't realise that Sharon Osbourne was part of the family. Yeah, I was gonna mention that. What is going on over there? It's the only option. And we've seriously got to try and get her legs in there. I've gone from feeling like a bride to not feeling like a bride. That's it's all right, Dan. You're right. It's alright. Annie Leanne be alright. She's more fucking upset than the actual bride. I just need to finish getting ready now because I'm getting stressed. There you go, babe. Look, they've not got a penis! <laughs> what even is that? The way it bunches over does make her entire body look like some kind of like dick and ball combo. It's weird. It looks awful. I've got Mr. Hell have you got on there? Why have you got that on? The shoes. Wait, I'm sorry, hold on. Does she have like Converse on under there? Why have you got that on? Yeah, that's the look right there, isn't it? That's what you want to be rocking up on your wedding day in. What is going on in this show? This is awful. This is not what I was expecting from the show. I thought it was going to be like, oh, the husband has made a few little errors. I didn't realise it was like the husband actively tries to make his wife divorce him. Yeah, what is the aim? <laughs> like, like, genuinely, what is the aim? Like, oh, it's funny to the public, but I've just ruined my life. Like, I've ruined my fucking family. You've been told I've got to wear it. Ten rounds. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Leah. That looks ridiculous. Kind of turning into a fursuit. This is how it starts. This is the pipeline. This is the beginning. Leanne can finally see what Jai has planned. Oh, oh my God. Me. What the hell is that? You've got to get up there from the ground. It doesn't lower down. They've got to scale the building. <laughs> you know, when people form like a human pyramid, that's how they get her up there. Oh, they did as well. They literally just got straight up there. They didn't even lower it down. Wow, they teleported. That's so sick. <laughs> Why are they already up there? They must surely go down to get her. Yeah, surely it takes like extra effort to like bring it up and down. I'm not going to ask any more questions. Like they don't drop it. I've been on one of those things. They don't just drop it to the floor with everybody in it. Yeah, it's like a drop ride at Thought Park. They just, no, they just cut the cable and you land on a like mattress below. Why the hell is that crying? <laughs> It's just in a fucking car park as well. That's the worst part. Like, that's awful. Like, oh, we've got our lovely view of the M27 and the local Costa Coffee. What the hell? Beating like it's gonna come out. I mean, actually, she kind of seems like low key excited for it. <laughs> like, it's you good know, up like, there, man. The food is like, genuinely good. But, like, what if you need to piss? Like, what do you. Yeah, they give you a rope and you've got to, like, slide down. Nah, you're just, you're just screwed. They, like, point to, like, a hay bale on the floor and they're like, aim for that. Whee! Oh 
Oh my god. Did they end up getting married? God knows. Probably not. Probably not. I hope not. But if they did, uh, give me a go, because that's that sounds wrong. Give me a but go. If they, but if they did, uh, give me a go. <laughs> what does that mean? I meant on the like crazy thing, so I could sit not on the wife, although maybe. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well. I want to sit on the crazy thing and dangle my legs like a child while I eat my food. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, but I hate it. It's just not what I'd have picked at all. Well, this one's gone wrong just straight from the dress. That's just not a great start, is it? At least the other bride seemed relatively happy about the outfit. Yeah, what they were wearing. Their day got ruined. Tell me. I just hate all that. Like, my... And it's miserable. I think I'm just going to wrap it up on that because I don't want to watch these people's lives get ruined anymore. This is just hurting my soul. Oh, it's depressing. That's just sad. There's not enough positive to outweigh the negative in these. Like, not at all. I wonder how many of these people ended their relationships after this. The producers are probably fucking evil. Anyway, well, it was show was so long ago, they're probably fucking dead now. Any last words on that one, Alex? I don't have anything to say to that. If you did enjoy, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Check out Alex's channel. He's in the description. Goodbye. Bye.